Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix Note 40 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, uh, for this process we will need to have two things, number one will be access to internet and number two will be an active SIM card. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So. Uh, on the device, you can see it is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. And I can also use the Google account instead to unlock it that way. So undeniably, it is locked. And also you have this icon right here with a lock, obviously locked. Anyway, so uh, to get started, you want to either progress forward if you're at the very beginning of the setup or progress backwards if you were at the same page as I was. And you want to get to the Wi-Fi connection page right here. Number one, uh, connect to your network if you haven't done so. And from there, you're going to click on the QR scanner right here, or the QR code, which is that, as you've seen, little square right here next to your connected network. This only appears once you connect to your Wi-Fi. Next, you're going to select um, share as it was visible at the beginning, but I did close it. Then you want to choose nearby. Continue, allow, and then select this text, need help sharing. This in turn will show you a article. You wanna click right here on these three dots and then select share article. And choose that you want to share it using messages. Now, now is actually the time that we probably should insert our SIM card. So I'm gonna do that right now. Should pop up with, there we go, a pin for my SIM card. So I'm gonna be confirming pin for it. And I'm gonna select new message. In the field two, slap in any kind of numbers. There we go, good enough. They don't need to be real. You're not really gonna be sending this message to anyone important. Uh, in terms of article that is automatically pasted into your message field, you want to completely get rid of it. And then you want to type in www.youtube.com. Now, uh, when you press the first W, it is going to be capital. Make sure it's not. So just to kind of demonstrate it, when you press this, you can see that the first one is big. That's not what you want. So make sure you deselect the capital letter and there, then type in your link. There we go. Now it is important to add the extension, as if you don't, uh, YouTube might open up in a little pop-up window, which won't give us options that we need. Okay, uh, so with the extension of World Wide Web, uh, you basically make it so your phone will open up YouTube in its full like application form factor. Anyway, uh, you wanna send it, then click on the link itself, and choose open URL. We don't need to allow this, so you can just click whatever. And here we're gonna select the account icon, settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. Uh, here, select use without an account. No thanks. And in the search bar, you want to navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. like so. Let's give it a second. Pops up with a couple annoying things. For some reason, I think that was German. Not sure why, but anyway. Uh, so on the website, you want to scroll down and you're looking for this, the settings app. Click on the image. And then in here, we're gonna scroll down to, I think I already passed it. Oh, there we go. App management, app list. And here we're gonna start off with the Android Auto. Select disable, disable app for stop. Okay, then go back, go to the Android setup next. Select for stop, okay. Go back, scroll down to Google Play services right here. And again, disable, disable app for stop and okay. Next, we're gonna back out to the main settings page right here, and we're looking for special function, accessibility, and we're looking for accessibility menu. 
you want to enable it, allow, and got it. Now uh, that we have uh, disabled three different applications and forced to stop them uh, and enabled accessibility mini, we can now back out to the setup. So just start pressing the back button till you get, there we go, QR code back uh, here. Once we have our Wi-Fi open, if you have it visible like this, just click again on, on the network that you have connected and choose to forget it. Select back and let's progress again forward and we can now reconnect to our network again. Now, I'm not sure why this is important, but it looks like it is. So anyway, once we connect to our network, should go to the next page. I think it might have been because of, I think that was the, the case. I don't think we were able to go to the next page with a already connected network for some reason. So once you reconnect to it, it automatically progresses forward. Anyway, next we're gonna go forward. Select don't copy. And you will see checking for info, then checking for updates. And it's just gonna kind of cycle through this. It will never finish this step right here. Uh, because Google Play Services is turned off. So now we're going to be utilizing our accessibility menu. I'm going to select that, then choose Assistant. And this sometimes will open up Settings button right here. You want to basically just keep spamming both of those till you see Settings. And select Enable. As you can see, it took me several tries to actually navigate in here. That is completely normal. Uh, now, it just kind of requires some persistence. Just continue to do this till you manage to click on the settings and settings takes you to this page. Sometimes you might click on settings and it just will close it off anyway. Don't worry, that is completely normal. Just keep on repeating it till you manage to navigate in here and select enable. Once you have chosen enable, it will change to disable. Keep it like that and then go back once. That is very important. Click somewhere on the screen to get rid of uh, the Google services, uh, or not services, but the assistant, and then we can finish up the setup. As you probably will notice right now, we have just skipped a verification portion of the of the setup. So right now we can choose whatever we want and complete our setup. Just give it a moment. I am skipping everything that I can. Okay, so once uh, our setup is finished, next thing that you want to do and last thing is navigate into your settings right here. Scroll all the way down to system and then choose reset phone, erase data, erase data, and then confirm this by selecting erase da all data once more. Now this will basically begin a factory reset of your device. Now the reason you want to do this right now is because by performing a reset of the device through settings like we are doing right now after the setup has been completed, uh, this will force the device to remove any kind of protection from the device, which is still present on here. We just glitched our way through it without verifying anything, but the protection is still present on the device. Now when we do the reset through settings, it will remove that. Now it will take about a minute or two minutes to finish up and once it's completed you'll be taken back to the setup screen at which point you can set up your device in whatever way you want to. So um, I'm not going to be going through the reset on this video specifically just because it's fully automatic and doesn't really show anything but for people that want to see me go through this uh, I'll be basically just making a reset video through settings as a separate kind of standalone video so if you really want to see me go, go to the reset and just kind of see that it's not locked, you can check that out. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.